So it's actually Tuesday night after we just played our first game. Um, it was pretty insane game. We scored in the first minute, they scored in the 30th. One all end of 90 minutes, then we had extra time because it was, wasn't actually a competition game, it was still pre-season, which confused me, but anyway. And then we did 10 minute halves, no one scored, did another 10 minute half and we scored with like 5 minutes left to win it in Golden Goal 2-1. So that was a heap of fun and kind of, uh, you know, tension, tensiony, very much tension in the game, but it was a heap of fun. Um, not that I played, I was on the bench because, you know, we were giving out the keeper, the, you know, the good keeper, the go, but yeah, it was still fun, uh, yelling from the bench along with lots of others. Um, so yeah, it was a good start of the season, 2-1 uh, win. But also, on Thursday, which is in two days' time, uh, the team goes to Colorado, the travel team, which is 20 out of the 34 guys, and I'm going, which kind of surprises me because I didn't think I was going to go, but that's the way it goes. Um, we, we originally had five keepers, uh, one of them never turned up, there we go, one of them, one of them never turned up, uh, one of them quit after like two days, and then there were three of us left, one who's the really good keeper, uh, one who's me, and one who's this other guy, but he keeps injuring his fingers, and so he's not coming, so that leaves two of us, and I'm going to Colorado, basically free travel around the US, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I leave in two days, I miss a few classes, but don't worry, I did the work already, and it's already handed in and stuff because good student, good student, I promise. Um, yeah, so that's happening. Going to Colorado, we there for four days. Uh, I think two or three games happen while we're there. Uh, I don't expect to play, but you know, still good fun to go and that sort of thing. So yeah, going to Colorado in two days. While I'm in Colorado, I'm going to try and get some footage and stuff and maybe do a Colorado video next time. We'll see what happens. But for this video, I've got some footage of the stuff they did for my knee, so you can stop worrying about that. And also very small footage of kind of what happens on a Friday training when there are, or Monday training when there's no coaches and we're just chilling. I couldn't actually get any practice video from real practice because that would mess things up. And I couldn't get any footage from the game because I was on the bench and couldn't really, you know, get the camera out, that sort of thing. But I will link in the description down below, which hopefully you guys know how to find or can be shown. Uh, the article that they're going to write, uh, as soon as it comes out, I'll link it in the description. And so you guys can read through that uh, and see what they say and if there are any good pictures or anything. But yeah, for now I'm going to play the three or four clips I have of soccer related stuff and also the stuff they gave me. Uh, and then, yeah, that'll be it for this video. I'm wearing my goalkeeping pants. They go on top of everything, including shorts. So I'm going to slide them off. I'm still wearing shorts, don't worry. Yeah. Alright, so the goalkeeping pants down here are all nice and padded. I don't know if you can see. But they have this, yeah, there you go, they have this kind of mesh stuff. Those are on my knees. That's the first layer of protection. I also got some of my thighs, which protect my thighs. Now, on my right knee, down here, I have a few cuts. So what they've done, they've, put, they've bandaged it up. And it looks kind of ridiculous, but I'm going to sit down and show you what's actually on there and how it comes off. Uh, so, on here, basically, I just pull it, pull it, bits come off. Ah, uh, jeez. Sometimes I'm going to... There we go, pull it. Sometimes I have to get scissors. It comes off a lot better in the shower, but I'm gonna keep trying to pull it and we'll see how we go. It's a bit hard to do one-handed because I'm holding the camera. So this stuff here goes underneath the main white bandage. It's kind of a holding thing. And it goes over the top of a band-aid. So here's the band-aid, which I'm gonna pull off. So maybe, ow, a few hairs coming off and it may be a bit bloody, but you'll be all right. No, no, not at all bloody. So that's all that was covering. It was massive bits of tape and band-aid just for that little cut there. But I'll move off that because that's a bit gross. Now under here, I've got heaps of bandaged stuff. I'm not actually sure where the start is, but I'm gonna find some scissors and then I'll cut it off. I've got the scissors and we can basically cut straight through this stuff. It's nice and easy. Eh. There we go, almost through. There we go, and as you can see, it peels off pretty easily. There's that nice foamy stuff I talked about underneath the main white stuff. And all that's doing is holding on this one solitary band-aid that's down there on my knee. It's just covering that bloody patch. All of that, just for a few little cuts. Right, that's how much they care. Now onto my kind of stuffed knee over here. A volleyball pad to stop it getting hurt anymore. I pull that off. And then I have a compression pad. It's a bit like a skin, 
except rather than being for the full leg, it's just for the knee and it's a bit tighter. And also on the sides, it's got some hard bits here which make it stay in place better. I pull that off and you can see here there's a bandage. And this bandage, if I come around the front a bit, normally comes around like this and then has strands that stick up like that. And what that does is hold my knee in place to stop it from getting hurt anymore and to make it easier to play and less painful. So, pulling off that, pull that off, and as you can see, when I hold my knees like that, the swelling's pretty much gone down all the way. There's a little bit left, but not much, and they're sending me to see a doctor on Monday, and I'm still getting ice on every day. So my knees are gonna be fine. So, as for the stuff I got from George Fox, I've got three t-shirts, two of them blue like this one, and one of them white. White one are for game days and Tuesday, Thursday practices and the two blue ones are for Monday, Wednesday, Friday practices. Although Monday's an optional practice, so yeah, that's the blue one. I also got two pairs of shorts, as you can see, one, two. Two pairs of training socks. I'm supposed to get one more pair and a pair of game socks, but I don't have any yet. Um, then over here I have three training, three jerseys, not training jerseys, one, two, and three. Black, white, and yellow for training, as well as three pairs of gloves. Uh, these ones, as you can see here, are a bit torn up. That's because those are the ones I've been using. Um, these ones here are also torn up. They're just a spare I got given an old one of someone else's in case I lost the green ones. But these ones here are my good pair. Never been used, but they have finger save on the back, which means I actually can't bend them backwards because of the finger save. It's there for the games, uh, but I don't know if I'm using them for games because I kind of like using those green ones. And finally, I have a pair of three-quarter length pants, which are my own but I'm supposed to get a new pair sometime, anytime soon, along with my game socks. So I hope that should be fun. And also on loan, of course, my volleyball knee pads and the compression sleeve here. So yeah, a lot of stuff from George Fox to wear and I don't know how much I get to keep and how much I have to give back. But yeah, lots of fun stuff. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, heap of stuff going on. Knees pretty much better now. Uh, they don't ice it anymore. They don't strap it anymore. I still have the knee pad and sleeve on it, but nothing else, which is good. It's all pretty much better. Uh, and yeah, I am now getting ready to go to Colorado. I've got a day off tomorrow. We have serve day, so we go around doing stuff. Um, but yeah, the day after that we leave Colorado, and I will keep you updated on what happens there. But until then, enjoy the video and. See, see it next week, hopefully, if I get it out. I'm not sure because getting back in Colorado and stuff. But yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye. Finally, on one last note, um, I got your letter, grandfather, and thank you, and and I have it here, and I'm hoping that you get some non-yellow flowers because just yellow daffodils sounds slightly boring. Um, yeah. I fig figured that they should probably give you mixed flowers if they, that's what they claim to give you. But yeah, I got you later, so thank you for that.